What's up, guys? Hey, just wanted to share something. Reading in Judges um, about Samson um, and how it deals with the relationships and God's best for us versus what we settle for so many times. So it says Samson saw a uh, girl from Timnah and said, hey, parents, I'd like you to go get her for me. It doesn't say he talked to her. It doesn't say he asked if she was a follower of the way or anything like that. He just said, hey, she looks great. I want her. And it caused a lot of problems. Even when he talked to his parents, they said, hey, isn't there anyone from the house of Israel that you could speak to and, and marry? Um, this was kind of a pattern in his life that led to a lot of negativity, which we'll look at probably in part two in a day or two. Um, he then gets played by her. Um, he's having a marriage feast and he has this great riddle and her people say, hey, we don't want to pay up on this. Get the answer from Samson. She cries for seven whole days and he gives in. So that's, that's just another lesson that we can learn is, hey, you know, Samson, uh, led with his eyes, not his heart, his mind, his soul, um, and got someone that probably wasn't the best. He settled for second best. Then when he told her this answer, then she told her people, and it caused a lot of problems. It angered Samson, um, and it just led to a lot of destruction. So I just want to encourage you guys, um, especially you young folks, if you're looking at relationships, if you're a follower of Jesus Christ, make sure you're not just looking with your eyes, but you're looking for someone that is in a relationship with Jesus, that loves Jesus, and that is going to encourage and help pursue your passion in that direction. The Bible says don't be unequally yoked together with an unbeliever. So if you're going one way, if you're passionately following Jesus and someone's not, it's going to cause problems, and God doesn't want that for you. He wants what's best for you. He wants you to be blessed in your relationships. So follow him. Uh, I look forward to uh, part two of this. It's interesting what happens with uh, Samson a little bit later as he continues this trajectory of life choices. Um, God bless you.